Chief Meteorologist Jeff Ranier is back with us. And even when you look behind us, it's not fog. That is smoke. It was so heavy. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you, I have a horrible headache today from being out in the smoke all day. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I was out just for a couple of minutes, and you can just kind of feel it in your lungs. So a lot of us definitely need to limit our outdoor exposure, not only tonight, but certainly as we head through tomorrow. Now, before we get to that smoke forecast, I will talk about when I think it'll clear out. I did want to show you an update on the Clear Lake fire. Uh, those evacuations are in place. We have full coverage at NBCBarry.com. But the wind, the, we're starting to see some of those strongest wind gusts we had overnight beginning to at least taper off a little bit. We still have some gusts of 10 to 20. And that's why with the fire location here, it's pushing any embers potentially towards Lower Lake High School. And that's why we have those evacuations around this area because, again, of that wind direction. Now, as we head through tonight and tomorrow, we're only looking at wind gusts here of 10 to 20. So hopefully that'll help the firefighters to continue to battle this. Now let's get you to the other story, and it is all about the smoke. Look at this picture. Every single bit of it is smoke. We're not looking at any fog here. So all of us just really being choked by this smoke moving across the Bay Area and the air quality. Well, it shows it. Look out here towards Walnut Creek. You can only see a half mile, maybe a little bit more off towards the distance, but that's just about it. So we are looking at unhealthy air for sensitive groups. If you have respiratory problems up into the North Bay, the coast is good from a slight ocean breeze. Uh, the Bay, East Bay and South Bay also unhealthy. So let me uh, show you more about where we have some of the worst air quality right now, where you really have to limit your outdoor exposure, and that's in Concord, Danville, Livermore, Los Gatos, also into San Jose. Now here's the thing. So we roll through tonight, also into tomorrow morning. There's no big change. You can see the legend up here. We're looking at moderate, even a little bit stronger smoke staying over the North Bay, East Bay, and also the South Bay into tomorrow morning. And that also stays as we roll through tomorrow afternoon. I even think at this point on Friday's forecast, we'll hold on to that smoke lingering across the Bay Area. So the big question, when could we actually get some changes? When could we actually see this get pushed out of here? Well, we're looking at a system by Saturday night that will drop down a uh, setup over Idaho. Looks like that could change up the upper level airflow and help to push that smoke off towards the east again Saturday night into Sunday. Now all of this depends on the fire behavior. If they get a lot worse, this may not actually come through for us. But again, Saturday night and Sunday, that's where we're thinking the weather pattern at least could give us a little bit of edge and get this smoke on out of here. Now, as we head through our forecast for tomorrow with that smoke staying puts, we'll have 80s inland, 70s by the bay and 60s right there at the coastline. My seven day forecast in San Francisco continues with this trend of 60s for daytime highs, 50s for morning lows, and you'll see over the inland valleys. We're also remaining in the 80s all the way through this weekend. Then once we hit next Tuesday and Wednesday, some upper 80s and also low 90s. So it's that kind of weather. Get the the you know the games out, whatever whatever you got, board games, video games, and try to stay indoors. Yeah, as much as possible. You got right. it. Thank you, Jeff.